Hello students, welcome to EPG Patshala. I am Dr. K. Anil Kumar, Assistant Professor, Indira Gandhi National Open University, New Delhi. Today, we are going to discuss about module Kinship, Family and Marriage among Indian Tribes under paper Tribal Cultures of India. So students, let us see what we are going to learn from this module. You will be able to describe different tribes. You will be able to write a short note and discuss on kinship, family, marriage. You will be able to write about various Indian tribes. You will be also able to write short notes on social organization of Indian tribes, their kinship, marriage and family. Now let us discuss what is kinship, family and marriage. Kinship is a method of Reconning relationship. In any society, every normal adult individuals belong to two different nuclear families. The family in which he was born and the family in which he makes relationship through marriage. This universal fact of individual membership in two families gave rise to a kinship system. The tribes of India are divided into lineages. Study of kinship in every useful for understanding the elements of social organization as they serve the mechanism of organizing social activities and coordinating social relationship. Kinship generally traced from an ego. All persons having relationship with an ego are defined in terms of kinship system. The most profound impact of kinship ties on the social life may be felt through kinship usages found in every society. Kinship uses, usages among the tribe of India present very interesting and significant spectacle. Family is the basis of human society. Relationship between two members of family is formed based on marriage and descent. Variations in the form of family is quite natural. This depends on the way of marriage and economic system. Family is the basis of human society. Relationship between the members of the family is formed based on marriage and descent. Variation in the forms of family is quite natural. This depends on the ways of marriage and economic system. Classification of the families. Classification of the families on the basis of marriage are three types that is monogamous family, polygamous family, polyandrous family. On the basis of structure, family can be classified into nuclear family, giant family and extended family. On the basis of residence, family can be classified into two types, patrilocal family and matrilocal family. On the basis of ancestry and property inheritance, family can be divided into two types, patrilineal family and matrilineal family. Whereas on the basis of blood relationship, family can be classified into conjugal family, conjugal family, monogamous family, polygamous family, and polyandrous family. Classification of tribes in India. Although tribes are scattered all over the India, but they are mainly classified into three zones, northeastern zone, 
central zone south zone if you see the types of tribes that scattered into these three zones in northeastern zone there are kharis garos and nagas and many others and in central eastern zone you find tribes like mundas santals bhils gonds birhors and when you look at the south zone you also find various tribes like chenchus todas irulas etc here now we'll discuss about few tribes in these scattered zones in india in north east zone you predominantly find tribe called garo the garo tribe shows tradition of shifting cultivation the main concentration of this tribe is found in the garo hills of meghalaya a sizable population also live in bangladesh west bengal nagaland mizoram and tripura the garos call themselves as achik mande achik denotes hill and mande denotes man their regionally divisions known as chachi each regional group chachi is again divided into a number of clans called makchang a garo is a matrilineal tribes clans are reckoned through mothers mostly families in garo are matrilocal that is bride groom comes to reside in the house of bride mother after marriage clans are as i told reckoned through mothers though mother is the person in supreme command in a garo family yet father is responsible for the subsistence of family members a sharp division of labor is found to exist in a garo family regional groups are endogamous in nature but the clans are strictly exogamous monogamy is common among garo but polygamy is also prevalent in some places in garo tribes a man can marry maximum 3 times with the permission from first wife and his second wife must be elder sister of first wife some of them are found to marry their widow mother in law the marriage rules are designed in such a way that a person can keep the whole property of his in laws house under control the custom of bride price is not seen in garo tribes kinship terminology is of classificatory type terms of addresses are common for father father's brothers mother's brothers and mother's sisters husbands and father's sisters husbands in the same manner female relatives in the status of mother are designated as a common term a couple can easily get divorced on the basis of adultery or physical defects the tribe khasi the khasi is a matri local community who lives mainly in the khasi and jainitia in the state of meghalaya some khasis are found in garo hills north kachar hills and also along the northern and southern slope down to the brahmaputra and surma valleys the tribe is divided into four main groups the khairiam khasi or upland khasi 
the Pahar Khasi of the Jaintia Hills, the Bar Khasi, the Boy Khasi. The Khasi are monogamous. The clan of Khasi tribe is reckoned through the mothers. Position of women is very high in the society. Mothers are regarded as a custodian of family rights and religious performances. Choosing mate from one own clan is regarded as a great sin. Young men and women are permitted considerably freedom in the choice of mates in the premature sexual relations. They are permitted to marry the children of maternal uncle or children of father own sisters the bond of marriage is very strong among this tribe marriage to a deceased woman elder sister is prohibited this is the only form of sororate found among the khasi the levirate does not obtain in khasi society a man becomes a member of his wife clan and lives with his wife in her own house income of the son in law is solely handed over to the mother in law for the maintenance of the family all sons of the family leave their family orientation after marriage mother's elder brother get special attention in khasi society and management is under his control the ancestral property is passes through the female line the youngest daughter inherits the largest share of the property the sons have a no right on the property mother's residential house usually goes to the youngest daughter now we'll discuss about the tribe naga the population of angami naga is around 12 million agriculture is the main occupation the design of the clothes worn by angami man and women are quite different from each other the angami are monogamous there are two forms of marriage one ceremonial the other one non ceremonial the ceremonial form is desired as a symbol of status the no ceremonial form involves the taking of a woman to the house of a man where they remain kenna that is called forbidden for one day women are allowed freedom of choice in the selection of mates marriage price are high polygamy is not allowed in naga divorce is allowed in a common the wife gets one third of the couple's joint property exclusively of land and divorce and widows are permitted to remarry by contrast the lotha are polygamous a husband having as many as three wives young girls are preferred arranged marriages are the norm with women having no freedom of choice in the selection of spouse a husband may also allow his brother or nearest relative on his father's side to have conjugal access to his wife when he is absent for any length of time the simas are polygamous a sima husband is allowed to have as many as 5 to 7 wives part of the aho betrothal process involves the husband's construction of a marital home with material gathered from the field of his parents and the parents of his wife the typical angami household contains about 5 persons a husband a wife two or three children possibly an aged and widow parent and perhaps a younger unmarried brother an angami man cannot leave property to anyone outside of his clan or kindred without considerable complication if no special provisions have been made 
the next male had within kindred usually inherits a man property. When sons marry, they receive their portions. When the father dies, the younger son inherits all property, including the father's house. The inherited of adopted son is determined at the time of adoption. Here now we discuss central zone tribes. In central zone, the predominant tribes are called Santals. The third largest tribal community of India with a population of 4 lakhs 2,60,842. They are distributed in the state of Bihar, West Bengal, Orissa and Tirpura. The Santals inhabited the state of Assam or not a scheduled tribe. Santals are divided into 12 clans and 164 subclans. They are patrilineal and endogamous. Their principal function is ceremonial and refer referential. The clans Paris are ranked according to old functional divisions. The Kisku were kings, the Murmu priests, etc. There is a ban on intermarriage. The ranking of clans is reflected as a slight tendency of hypergamy. Subclan hierarchy is exposed, expressed in terms of senior or junior distinctions, as well as pure or impure. Subclans identity, identities focus on modes of sacrifice. The Santali name of name for marriage is called bhapla the clan paris are ranked according to old functional divisions the kisku or kings the muru priests etc there is a ban on intermarriage the ranking of clans is reflected in a slight tendency to hypergamy the Santali's name for marriage is called Bapla. In Santal society, marriage is one of the sacred event of life and it adds up considerably respect in society. It is strictly forbidden for any Santals to marry within his or her own sept parish. He is allowed to marry into any other sept or Sub 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 to which his or her mother belong. There are some steps which never intermarry with another in consequence of some feuds between families. Similarly, a Tudu male never marries a Besra female and vice versa. These customs are no longer ineffective prevalent in day-to-day -day life of the Santals. However, myths and tales associated with feud are still told among the Santals. Girls are married as adults mostly to men of their own choice. In Santals marriage, there is no restrictions of age. The bride may be younger, older or of equal age with by bridegroom. There are two types of marriage practiced by Santals. The marriage arranged by Raibar, matchmaker, is the regular form of marriage. Here we will discuss about the Gon tribe. The Gons are the tribal community mostly found in the forest of central India. They are widely spread in the Chindwara district of Madhya Pradesh. Basta district of Chhattisgarh and also in the parts of Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh and Odisha. The name by which the Gonds call themselves is Koi or Koitur which means unclear. It is one of the largest tribal group in the world. A marriage among the Gonds is the monogamous selection of a man and a woman based on mutual choice with the approval of tribal 
counsel. They consider adultery as a sin and think that punished by the ancestral spirits that can cause crop failure or an epidemic among humans and cattle. The essential wedding rite consists of the groom walking with his bride seven times around, a wedding post erected in the center of the wedding booth, boys and girls marry when they attain maturity. Bhils are popularly known as the bowmen of Rajasthan. They form the forms the largest tribals of the whole South Asia. Bhils are mainly divided into two main groups, the central pure bhils and eastern or Rajput bhils. The central bhils are found in the mountains regions in the Indian states of Madhya Pradesh, Maharashtra, Gujarat and Rajasthan. Bhils are also found in the northeastern part of Tripura. Clan exogamy is strictly enforced everywhere. In some areas such as Sabar, Kanta and the Panch Mahals, cross cousin marriage with the daughter's daughter of one's father's sister is preferred. Polygamy among the Bhils is quite common. Bhils marry a at around 14 to 16 years for boys and 11 to 13 years for girls. A boy's first wife is expected to be a virgin. Residence established after the girl's first menstruation. Couple is highly dependent on their parents for guidance and assistance for several more years. Tribal endogamy is preferred. Therefore, intermarriage is often specially restricted to a 35 to 40 kilometers radius. Although polygamy is accepted, the high bride price to be paid especially for a virgin first wife is an important reason for the prevalence of monogamy among the bhils. So rural unions often occur among polygynous marriages. Liberate Alliances are quite rare. Most marriages fall in one of the five categories. Contract marriages, elopements, mutual attraction and marriage by service and marriage by abduction. Polygamy is accepted in Bhil tribe. Monogamy is prevalence among them. Sororal unions often occurs among polygamous marriages. Also, liberatic alliances are quite rare. A married woman sets up residence in her husband's village in a new house built near her, his father's homestead. A son is generally given some farmland and a few head of cattle with which he may subsist and provide for his own family. The dissolution of a marriage is often initiated by the woman who is dis, dissatisfied with her husband, abandons him, frequently elope, eloping with another man. The basic co-residential unit is the nuclear family, comprising a couple and their unmarried children. As sons marry, the nuclear family loses its commensural nature, but solidarity continues as a joint family evolves. Upon the death of father, his property and debts are divided among his sons. Maximum proportion of wealth goes to the goes to a senior brother. A daughter receives an inheritance only if she has no male siblings. Now we discuss about Munda tribe. The main concentration of the Munda tribe is inhabited in the West Bengal, Odisha, Madhya Pradesh and Assam. They extended in type but nuclear families are also common. Some families are 
polygamous kinship terminology show both classificatory and denotive terminology now we discuss about the gond tribe nowadays the gonds follow the rural hindu population and parents arrange the marriage when children are still young the father of groom has to pay a bride price depending upon the position and wealth of the two families cross cousin marriages are prevalent in gond a gond can have more than one wife polygyny being restricted only by the capa capability of the men to support a number of wives the gond practice the sororate and the levirate gonds who are too poor to pay the bride price and the wedding expenses contract a service marriage families with no sons prefer such as marriage arrangement the gond permits divorce a divorce requires the legal sanction of the tribal council of the village family is patrilineal and property distributed to the sons equally a widow usually remains in the house which is inherited by her younger son birhor tribe the birhors in is mainly a nomadic tribe but majority of them had settled down they are distributed in the hills hill hilly areas of the state of bihar orissa madhya pradesh and west bengal word birhor means people of the forest birhor live in small bands tanda which consists of 2 to 24 families be lot to one or more clans the society is patriarchal the families are patrilineal and patrilocal in nature the family is the smallest unit of birhor society family consists of father mother and children when children grow up they move to different tanda birhors follow the rules of tribal and clan endogamy a birhor boy is supposed to get married with a birhor girl but the clan of the boy and the girl should not be same tandas tandas or bands have families of different clans but they follow the rule of tanda exogamy at the time of marriage the blood relationship is explored the marriage between a boy and a girl is possible only when they are not related up to three generations from the fathers and the mothers side birhor follows the practice of bride price responsibility of marriage is done by father the father of a boy approaches the father of a girl when they agrees the father of the boy settles the bride price with father of the girl and the marriage is fixed marriage alliance between members of the same clan is never accepted the use same term of address for persons who are in same genealogical relationship the kinship system is classificatory in type only legitimate children acquire social status in the society in birhor community bride price is a vogue monogamy is a common property is inherited to the son of the family south zone toda todas found on the isolated nilgiri plateau of southern india they practice endogamous and patrilineal society the tribe is divided into two moiti tarthoral and theivoyal the kinship system of thoda is emphasized on classificatory terms on the day of marriage a wedding march is arranged from groom house to the bride place divorce is permitted but no compensation has to be paid different types of marriage are allowed in this tribe like polygyny junior leverate junior sororate and cross cousin marriage 
have a special sanction. Irrigated land also, the family home, fruit trees and most movables are inherited in direct patrilineal line. The eldest son receives the most, though not normally everything as the new head of the family. In some cases, the sons who are remain at home are favored. In default of sons, the closest collateral agnate or an Euroraxil living son-in-law inherits. There is a, some matrilineal inheritance of female clothes and ornaments, but women cannot inherit land because they marry out of the clan. The tribe Chenchu. The Chenchu is food gathering tribe of Andhra Pradesh. Some Chenchu also live near states like Orissa, Tamil Nadu and Karnataka. The word Chenchu means a person living under a tree Chetu. Chenchu is endogamous in nature. A clan is further divided into families. The families are nuclear type based on monogamy, polygyny is rare in occurrence. The community never exhibit joint or extended family. Married sons with their wives and children live in separate huts. The family is patrilineal and patrilocal. The kinship system is classificatory as well as bilateral. In type, a affinal kins are distinguished from the conjunctional kins. The chinchus count both the father and mother line in determining the descent. Marriage takes place either by negotiation or by elopement. Cross cousin marriage is preferred in the community. When guardians do not give consent for a marriage, the boy elopes the girl and goes to another village and return after few months or a few years when, when their guardian's anger is sub subsidized and couple is accepted in the family. Widow of Chenchu society is allowed for second marriage. This society is strictly patriarchal. Father's property is inherited by sons. Distribution is equally among sons, but sometimes elder brother gets more. Two types of property is recognized, personal and communal. Usually, women do not get anything in father's property. They inherited mother's ornaments solely. The tribe Irulas. Irulas inhabit the area of the Nilgiri mountains of Tamil Nadu and Kerala. A scheduled tribe, their population in this region is estimated at 25,000 people. The Irula speak Irula, which belongs to the Dravidian family. Monogamous marriage is the rule. Polyandry is extremely rare. Sororate and liberate remarriages are not prevalent. Family is extended. Extended family still plays a vital role. The brothers of a deceased husband are expected to care for the widow. The brothers of the widow may also care for her if those of her deceased husbands give their consent. Inherited property is divided equally among the sons upon the father's death. Purchased land units are similarly divided among the male descents. An Irula man may marry another woman in his first wife cannot conceive. He then is the married to both women. The bride price and any gift jewelry must be returned to the husband's family after divorce. The children from the marriage will remain with the father. Andamani tribe. In addition to these major geographical zones, there is also small and isolated zone which include Andaman and Nicobar Islands. Some important tribes are Jarwa, Onge, Santalis, Sompen, Andamanis, Nicobaris, etc. The Andamanis is a dying tribe who lives in Andaman Island food gathering stage. Two kinds of huts. 
ordinary hut meant for a single family whereas the communal huts were like a camp to accommodate a number of families among andamans a sharp decline of population is seen in andamanis no clan exists among these people todas are strictly endogamous that is marriage alliances occur exclusively within a tribe the tribe is divided into two moiety that is taratorol and tivanyol the member of taratorol considers themselves superior therefore former remains in the charge of the sacred buffaloes whereas the worker came from the tivatiol each moiety is subdivided into a number of clans teratrol possesses 12 clans and tivatiol possesses 6 clans each clan is exogamous patrilineal and territorial in nature each clan further divides into two sub clans khudr and pol a sub clan is divided into a number of families multiple husbands with children usually form this type of family toda exhibit polyandrous type of families a woman with her a woman with her if the husbands are brothers the family is called fraternal polyandrous family in this family sociological fatherhood is more important than biological fatherhood the kinship system of toda is emphasized on classificatory terms that is each term of designation denotes a number of relatives in the same rank belonging to particular sex marriage proposals for girls came at the age of 5 or 6 due female infanticide there is very large difference in sex ratio between male and females so polyandry get sanction in the society both type of cross cousin marriage are in vogue in toda society in all cases bride price is compulsory descent is patrilineal property passes from father to legal sons female have no right on property a society andaman is is patriarchal father is the head of the family in this society the marriage took place according to the garden selection marriage is settled for a boy after a girl immediately after attaining puberty and among andamanis child mortality is a very pronounced in the area so students let us summarize what we have learned in this module we have learned about kinship family marriage among different tribal communities in india now i will briefly summarize this kinship is a method of reconning relationship and generally stress from an ego kinship uses usages is very important in every society relationship between members of the family is formed based on marriage and descent the following are some of the popular types of preferential marriages prevalent among the indian tribes that is cousin marriage cross cousin marriage parallel cousin marriage levirate and sororate so family classify on the basis of marriage on the basis of structure on the basis of residence on the basis of ancestry and property inheritance and 
on the basis of blood relationship tribes classify on the basis of geographical zones that is north eastern zone it is a matrilineal tribe clans are reckoned through mothers groups are endogamous clans are strictly exogamous monogamy is prevalent kinship terminology is of classificatory type position of women is very high in society mothers elder brother get special attention example garo tribe khasi tribe naga tribe that is angami is monogamous while lotha and simas are polygamous high bride price is seen in among these tribes freedom of selection of maid and divorce is common youngest son inherits all property whereas in central zone santals is patrilineal and endogamous tribe their principal function is ceremonial and differential there is a ban on intermarriage the ranking of class is reflected in a slight tendency of hypergamy the santalis name for marriage is called bapla it is strictly forbidden for any santals to marry within his or her own sept that is parish the gonds are patrilineal and property distributed to the son equally a marriage among the gonds is monogamous cross cousin marriages are prevalent selection of a man and a woman based on mutual choice whereas for example southern zone todas are endogamous and patrilineal society the kinship system is emphasized on classificatory terms marriage proposals for girls came at the age of 5 or 6 cross cousin marriage are in og bride price is compulsory descent is patrilineal for example another tribe chinchu in andhra pradesh live near states like orissa tamil nadu and karnataka the chinchu families are nuclear type based on monogamy and patrilineal and patrilocal the kinship system is classificatory as well as bilateral type whereas isolated zone tribals called andamanis is a dying tribe who lives in andaman island two kinds of huts ordinary hut meant for a single family whereas communal hut were like a camp to accommodate a number of families among andamans no clans exist among these peoples the society is patriarchal the marriage took place according to the guidance selections sorry guardian selections marriage is settled for a boy after a girl immediately after attaining puberty thank you